We're here to talk to Mr Thomas about the French trip on the 7th of July. What time did you set off in the morning? We set off at 5.30. I thought, why waste daylight at that time of year? We congregated in the car park at 5.15 and we left at 5.30. All 77 students and 7 teachers on two, two coaches. Were the students all from one year or were from separate? No, it was a mixture. The idea came to me originally when I was doing some pupil perception interviews back in January, asking my year 10 GCSE class, who were you know, very good linguists on the whole, asking them what they liked about French, what they thought they were good at, what they thought they were bad at, and also what they thought would make them better. And several of them came up, well, we'd certainly be more motivated if we had a trip to France. Now, it was too late to organise... Uh, a proper study visit for four or five days at that, that point. So I decided, well, why, not? why can't we have a day trip? The ones that have year 10 students for, it, for it just to be a, for it just to have been a year 10 trip because it would cost too much. So what we did was we opened it up to year 7 students as well on a first come, first serve basis, emphasising that only people we could trust implicitly would be included in the party. And that's how it came about. We were still a couple short with a, a few weeks to go. So I also invited the year eight and nine students who'd won a languages prize at the Key Stage 3 assembly. How was the students' behaviour? The behaviour was excellent, excellent. You know, I was really proud of everybody. Did the students speak in French or English? Um, well, obviously most of the day they spoke in English because they were, <laughs> they were <laughs> with each other. But they did have to speak in French when they ordered their drink at a cafe. Okay, only a small little activity, but we, we did insist upon their speaking French when they ordered their drink. When it, we did a treasure hunt as well around Boulogne, and the clues were in both English and French. And what, and what they had to do was, in, with their teacher in their, in their group, had to walk around both the old part of the town and the newer part down below looking at the names of restaurants, bars, hotels, streets, one or two plaques on walls, trying to work out from the clues what to write down. They had to write down the name of the, the place or the establishment that the clue referred to. And um, So there was some French involved in that. And then they also had to write a postcard and send it home, and they had to do that in French. The Year 7s had a, a crib sheet where they, they could pick ten sentences to write on their postcard. But in each of the, the ten cases, there were two possible sentences that weren't suitable, and one that was. The year tens had to cope with it without anything. Do you feel that um, every pupil gained something from the trip? I think so, yes. I think they came back, a lot of them very tired. We had one or two people. They didn't sleep on the way. But we had one or two people asleep on the way back. But there was just, on the way, you could sense a very happy atmosphere on the coach. People had had a long day, but felt as if that they'd had a good time. People thanked us, without any prompting, thanked us as we got off the coach, which was you know, very heartening. And I've subsequently had an email and quite a few letters thanking me, a couple from pupils and others from parents, thanking me for arranging it for their son or daughter. And I think educationally, it's, a, it's something, it's a bit intangible really, but I think with my GCSE class they're very good. They, they, even without going to France they would have still carried on and done well at GCSE, but I think it's just made, it's all seem so much more real for them, to them. I thought, the, bit, the, the thing I enjoyed the most, I enjoyed, very much enjoyed doing the treasure hunt. My part, my group, unfortunately, were at a disadvantage in the sense I couldn't help them because I knew what the answers were. <laughs> Whereas every other member of staff was able to help them. That's why partly, partly because I was group leader, but I, that's also one of the reasons I gave myself the biggest group. I gave myself 15 students to look at. So I thought, well, that would compensate for the fact they weren't going to get any help from me. But I really enjoyed doing that. And then when we all congregated at the end of it, at the, the predetermined location, we then went off and wrote our postcards or had a drink. In the end, my group, we just decided, well, we'll have a drink and write our postcards at the same time. And as we sat there, it was a nice sunny afternoon, um, everything had gone well up to that point, so I was beginning to relax a bit more, and my, my students all ordered their drinks in French. There, wasn't, there was nobody who went, I'll have what he did, or tried to do it in English, or, or didn't make an attempt. So I, I just sat there 
with my with my glass of lemonade because it was a, a total it was a teetotal trip. None none of the stuff had anything to drink either. We decided that beforehand. I sat with my lemonade, thinking, yeah, this is really good. I enjoyed the treasure. My group are you know, behaving impeccably, but I knew they would. But there they are. They're really enjoying this. They're entering into the spirit of it. There, they're not shy. They're prepared to speak to the the waitress. Um, and I think at that point, as they were writing their cards and we were just relaxing, because uh, it was coming towards the end of our time in Boulogne, I just sort of sat back and said, yeah, this, is, this is a really good trip. I would like to arrange perhaps a combined arts, languages visit to France, maybe three or four days, combining language work with perhaps something, perhaps a trip to Paris to see the Louvre, perhaps visit Monet's garden. Something that where northern France, where we could get fair, we could get there fairly easily, to maximise the amount of time over there. But I'd like to do something like that.